everybody, how's it going and welcome back to another video about the Ezio collection. Today I just want to go through the trailer, giving you guys my thoughts, kind of looking at it quite in depth and analyzing it as well as it possibly can. So this isn't going to be like my other analysis videos where I stop it at certain points. We're just going to literally go through it kind of frame by frame and we're going to see what we can find. Okay, so let's go into it a little bit. So it starts off here. We have the obviously the intro text. What something I noticed was that there's no animus here. Like it may look kind of animacy. However, that's not really the animus, is it? It's, it's uh, you know, it's the... Uh... It's just some kind of like fluffy, flo fluffy, like floating stuff. We've got clouds in the background. It's not the animus like we know. It's not, you know, one of the animuses. So does this mean like they're not including modern day? We haven't seen any modern day. So what could it mean? If we just go through it, it, it is just kind of, you know, floating kind of just stuff kind of there. So is this going to mean they've got rid of the modern day? Like, I'm not bothered by that. I know some people are like, oh, we need Desmond stuff. But, you know, Desmond's not really relevant anymore. And you can tell Ezio's story without Desmond's story. I don't really want to sit through the Desmond stuff again. I mean, it'd be cool to see what the modern day looks like. But we don't really need it there kind of thing. It can be removed. It can stay. Either way, I don't really mind. But it does kind of look different because they haven't got the animus going on. So what does this mean? Or is it just for the trailer? I don't know. But I don't mind whether they include it or whether they don't include it. So then when we go through the trailer, well, we've got Ezio here. Now... This is my one problem with this, is that looking here, I can't tell whether this is the remaster or whether this is the at, like original game, because it looks exactly the same. I can't tell any differences. It does look very, very similar to the original game. I don't know which one it is, but it does look very similar to how Brotherhood looked in 2010. Okay, we've got another one of these. And this, I believe, is definitely the remaster at this point, because that the lighting is definitely better. The textures look very, very similar on Brotherhood specifically. Uh, however, the lighting is far better. The shadows are far better on the Brotherhood ones. But the textures are extremely, extremely similar. Maybe the bars look a little bit better on this gate. However, overall, it looks pretty much identical. The only differences are a little bit more contrast here and there, a little bit brighter, some better lighting, things like that. Uh, which obviously does make the game look a little bit better, but who knows what it looks like in actual gameplay until we've got to see it. So next stop is this one right here. The text of his robes do look far better, and I like this right here, the, uh, you know, the assassin symbol. It looks, like, far more detailed than the other thing. We've got, like, kind of, like, you know, creases here, and I like this. The fluorescent colors and things like that in the shadows do look a lot better in this uh, to what they did uh, in the actual game. So we keep going through. We've got this clip. This clip here is the one from Brotherhood that I think is noticeably most different. We've got, like, you know, the shadows on the inside of his hood, the shadows here on, like, his armor and things like that, and, like, these kind of buckles here. Other than that, look at, like, the textures here. Like, very, very, that's the same textures. Brotherhood, there's no really, you know, the tech haven't been redone here and here. Look, that looks like complete shit there. Like, it's kind of the very same texture in the background over here. All the textures are the same. Like, the render distance of texturing hasn't changed. It's still textured. Like, it's still you know, changes the render rendering to being, like, you know, lower poly counts at the same distance as it would in normal Brotherhood. It's not really that different. Um, but close-up, you can see definitely kind of details and things like that are very uh, kind of improved. But in Brotherhood, it's the kind of the least least improved, I think, out of the, out of the lot. And if we keep going through here, uh, we get this is where you start to see the remaster. So this is Ezio right here from Assassin's Creed 2 looking a whole lot better than when Assassin's Creed 2 originally came out. This right here looks awesome. You can see here, like, the fucking shadows and stuff here. All of, like, the straps and everything. These little ripples, those look awesome. His cape is looking way better. The buildings, way more high res. Everything is so high res here and colorful and awesome looking. Like, the sleeves look so cool. Way better than the original Assassin's Creed 2. That's where this really shines, I think, is in Assassin's Creed 2. But it's also where it looks the worst as well. Now, this is it looks similar but i didn't realize until i saw the original how different it looks it is actually a lot better it's more crisp the textures maybe not improved so much but the resolution really really helps with revelations and i think um revelations does look better especially in the brotherhood um in this but it looks really nice uh, nice and crisp there again pretty damn similar with brotherhood not much to point out this is another scene from Assassin's Creed 2 where you can see the difference right here looking awesome with the lighting and the render distance I like the the textures of this right here that looks pretty nice uh, again not too too different but when you see the original it there is quite a huge difference here uh, we keep going through this scene's quite nice um, obviously the fingers are still very similar to AC2 not much difference going on there but that looks very nice. The detail on this thing right here looks really, really cool. And I think that's where the most difference is, is with the detail. And I think it's the detail of textures they've improved, not necessarily models. Because if you see here, look, that's quite pointy. However, it's the texture that's improved, not the model. And I think that's what people, you know, why it doesn't look as good to, to a lot of people is the fact that, you know, it's it's the model 
like here, you can see the model is still the Assassin's Creed 2 model. It, actually, even there, the textures look complete shit uh, on the sword, and that's not good. But um, the rest of it is looking nice, very much like the Brotherhood scenes we got with Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2 in the Christina memories. It looks very reminiscent of that kind of thing. But um, again, it's very difficult to tell when you can't see actual gameplay. Here, I have to say, the colouring is looking really nice. I like the text of the wood in the background, things like that. Again, it looks very, very similar, and here you can see, look, just the way that is done is not good. Like, it's just a flat piece of fabric, and the same kind of going down here very pointy, and his hands just look like one block mesh kind of thing, and it's it's a bit meh. Uh, but, you know, um, it goes in on his face. Uberto's face is looking pretty damn fresh. Look at that. Look at that face. You can see, like, the wrinkles and everything. It's looking very nice. The eyebrows as well. When I first saw that, I was like, that looks extremely out of place, especially because of his collar still having, you know, the very low poly count. Um, just kind of being a thin thing. The same here, look, that's not even like, he's not wearing it, it's kind of just a thin texture, that's all it really is, but it definitely looks improved as well as the background textures and things like that, but his face definitely a whole lot improved. Um, then we've got Ezio coming through the crowd here, looking very nice and updated with the robes. I think Ezio's robes in 82 are kind of where the shines. Uh, again, not really that much better. Um, I mean, it looks better than Assassin's Creed 2, but that doesn't necessarily mean it looks good. Like, it's like, Assassin's Creed 2 didn't look good. Didn't look that good, you know, and you've got Patricia down here looking like absolute shit. And it's like, it may look better than the original game, but that doesn't mean it looks good. It still looks very mediocre, not... It's not fantastic, is it? Um, and then, you know, we continue through. Uh, you've got the guards here looking very similar to Assassin's Creed. It looks very similar. You know, Ezio's got basically the same facial model. It does have some updates. You know, I think the red is very red. It's a bit too red. I'm not entirely sure. But things like this, that looks like real fabric is looking really, really awesome there on his collar. Uh, you know, Uberto's looking better. The textures on here definitely look better. But it's when you see it from the side and you can see the model that it doesn't look as good. Because the model doesn't look as good, but the textures look better. And that's the issue. That's definitely the issue. Uh, so we'll keep going through, keep scrolling through. We've got uh, Rodrigo here in the background. It looks like he's got a lot more detail on his outfit here with, like, some cool-looking colors, and it's looking really, really nice. Um, definitely updated, but still, still very, too, like, kind of very similar to Assassin's Creed 2. Now, this scene right here is one that I uh, have to point out looks way better than the original. You probably don't notice right on first look, but if you do look at the original, the blade and bracer are heavily more detailed. And I will show you at the end a couple of comparisons that uh, Amir sent to me, the synth potato, uh, sent, sent us during a stream we did with George uh, a couple of comparisons, and I'll compare those for you guys so you guys can see the actual comparisons at the end of the video. Um, but there's far more data, detail on this blade, on here, this kind of area. The colouring's a lot better, and this uh, bracer looks far better in this than it does in the original Assassin's Creed 2. Um, kind of just the same stuff here. This looks very, very similar. The only difference is, obviously, the robes look far cooler. The beard, to me, looks better in this. It looks very Brotherhood beard rather than the shitty AC2 beard. I like the textures here, and the shadow there looks very, very nice. The horses look uh, pretty much identical to original Assassin's Creed 2, to be honest. Uh, then we've got him killing Uberto. I'm not sure what happens here. His head kind of phases through his hood, uh, which is a little bit worrying that that's happening, and they actually included that in the trailer, but that's a thing. The blood is looking very similar to... Uh, original Assassin's Creed 2, not too much different, very, very similar. Uh, this is one of the scenes that I think personally looks the best. So you can see the draw distance has been heavily improved. When I say draw distance, I mean the distance you can see, not the distance the textures render, because as you can see, these textures, these rooftops aren't fantastic because they're a distance, but um, the distance you can see is better because, look, you can see the Palazzo, uh, Palazzo Ducal. Is it called the Palazzo Ducal or is it something else? Um... Uh, the Piazza, it's the Piazza San Marco, but I think that's the Palazzo Ducal. Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be wrong, I might be saying the completely wrong thing. I think the Palazzo Ducal might be Emilio's one, and that might be a different one, I, but I'm forgetting its name right now. Um, continue through it. The sky is looking nice, and this bit here is what looks the best. Look at the colouring here. How nice does this environment look? The texture of the buildings are looking super, super nice here in this one, uh, with this, with this little thing here. You got Leonardo, text of his outfit is looking better. The text of the flying machine looks really cool. Uh, Ezio looks very similar, but obviously there's kind of more detail there. Brotherhood is the one, as you can see, it looks very similar to the original Brotherhood. There's not too much differences here with Brotherhood. Maybe some with the robes, maybe, but nothing else really is, you know, improved upon, um, other than that. And one thing I do want to point out is Claudia's face. What happened? What happened to Claudia's face right here? Because I don't know. 
Um, anyways, we're going to continue on through this. Obviously, improve draw distance, uh, but it looks very, very similar. Improve resolution. I do like the armor on these guys. That looks very improved. The armor does look improved, and that's something that I definitely like. Uh, we've got this as well. Again, that looks very nice, like the kind of improvements down here, like the shadow and shading and stuff. That's something that looks a lot better in um, Brotherhood. Uh, but Brotherhood's difficult because uh, I like the armor here too, but it looks very similar. That's the thing. There's, there's tiny little differences. Uh, I like that this shoulder armor is very nice. Um, but other than that, it's very, very similar to Brotherhood. There's not too many differences. And uh, this scene looks cooler. One thing I think is strange is why did they... I'll just play this through for you. Um, this scene right here. About you one day. You do, Machiavelli. Make it short. For some reason, they felt the need to in insert Machiavelli in there. Even though Ezio doesn't say that, it doesn't sync up with his lips. It's very strange. And I'm not entirely sure why they did that, but uh, it does look very similar to Original Brotherhood. Not too much difference. Uh, I think this looks really nice. Very orange, uh, in Revelations. Uh, and this looks really nice. The Yusuf's robes are looking like they've got some good text on there. This looks very similar to the original, not too different, but I do like the armor texture. They look very kind of enhanced, uh, as well as the resolution always helps. And here we've got, uh, this looks very good. I can see the smoke in the background is looking better. The armor here is looking better. The details on these things are looking way cooler, like there on Ezio's. If we go back and we see Ezio, for some reason in this scene, in the actual game, his hood is up. But in this, for some reason, his hood is down, which I find very strange. Uh, I don't know why that is. I like the detail here. It looks way more crisp and sleek. I do like his robes in this. They're looking a lot better. Um, for some reason, he's, he's down in that. I'm not sure why. The snow in this is looking a lot better, I think, personally. I think the snow looks more realistic in this scene here, where he runs through. I think that's really, really good. Um, next thing we have is this scene, and the water looks like it reacts way better in this than it does in the actual revelations. Um... To me, anyways, when it hits the deck of the ship, it looks way better and how it kind of hits Ezio. And then you've got the scene here where obviously the draw distance is improved, and I personally think this looks way better. And of course here, resolution and texturing improves the armor. I think the armor is something they focused on with this remaster. Uh, here, the blood texture looks way better in this than they do in 2. Uh, and then we have the Leap of Faith, which to me looks like they've just reused the scene from Revelations, not necessarily... This is definitely looks improved. This looks like they've just used the same scene from Revelations, whereas this, definitely you can see on his face, even though he kind of looks like he's dead already, um, definitely improved the textures of uh, his his model and Ezio's model, and as well the snow here on these uh, these uh, sandbags kind of looks like, and then on here the rock and area, rocky area kind of looks a lot better as well. Um, and that does look a lot better. And of course, three games and DLC does not include multiplayer modes or DLC, meaning it doesn't include the multiplayer or the DLC for the multiplayer, but it will include all the single player DLC uh, within this. And it's available on November 15th, and that's f uh, in the US. It's available on November the 17th, uh, everywhere else, I believe. Uh, I know it is in the UK, and I think the box art looks really, really pretty fucking awesome. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, uh, this is um, a thing... Uh, free movie tickets included uh, to the Assassin's Creed movie. Um, yeah, I, I think that's US only, and also, um, I believe it's oh, there's only a certain amount. It's not for everyone, so that's a thing. Uh, and there we go again. No animus in the background. It's just this kind of clouds and like kind of debris kind of floating. And that is it. That is the trailer right there uh, for the Assassin's Creed Ezio collection. Uh, that is basically my thoughts and my opinions and kind of my analyzation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments because I, I was very torn when this was first announced, but I am kind of looking forward to it now. I want to experience it uh, with you guys and see what it looks like, and I am looking forward to it, especially for the collector's edition, which is looking really awesome. But if we find out any more information, like, um, you know, details, things like that, I, of course, will bring them to you. Uh, so subscribe to the channel if you do want to be up to date on everything with the Ezio collection, and of course Empire and things like that in the future. I will be talking about Empire still, and I do hope you guys are hyped up for that, and I will be doing a Let's Play of the Ezio collection when it's released. I'll do Assassin's Creed 2 Brother and Revelations, and I'll do streams as well and things like that, and we'll try and do everything we can in them and have a good time in the Ezio collection, revisiting, uh, undoubtedly, the best Assassin there's been in the three best Assassin's Creed games. Uh, so now what I want to go ahead and do is just show you guys a few comparisons. I'm not going to talk over the top, I'm just going to let you guys see the comparisons side by side so you guys can see what they're like. Uh, so I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for new content, and I hope you enjoyed these comparisons, and I'll update you more on this kind of stuff in the future. See you guys later.
Do 